Average versus instantaneous rates of change is an important distinction in calculus. So let's look at average rate of change first. The average rate of change is f of b minus f of a over b minus a. And actually, you might notice, you might recognize this formula. This is just another way of writing y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 from algebra. And we know that to be the slope. So the average rate of change is just the slope between two different points. And you also call this the slope of the secant line. So, uh, secant line, not secant lime. Um, so the average rate of change is the slope between two points or the slope of the secant line. Instantaneous rate of change, that's the rate of change at a single point, at a single instant. And we know that to be the derivative at that point. Okay, and the slope, so these are both slopes. It's just the average rate of change is a slope between two points and the instantaneous rate of change is the slope at one point, at a single point, and that's the slope of the tangent line. Okay, so that's the difference. So let's actually do an example of average rate of change and then one of instantaneous rate of change. And the function I'm gonna use is the function from the last video. If you watched my video on the derivative, uh, I had the function x squared plus x plus one. Let's find the average rate of change of this function on the interval zero to one, just to make my numbers easy. Well, if I'm following this, that's, uh, I'll just follow this formula. So my zero is my a, my one is my b on the interval. So it says f of b, that means I plug one into this function, that'll be one squared plus one plus one, that's f of b, minus f of a, that's plugging zero into that function, so that's zero squared plus zero plus one, all over b minus a. Oh yeah, I picked the numbers to work out easily. Um, so one squared is one, plus one plus one is three, uh, zero squared zero, plus zero, plus one, so that's minus one, all over one minus zero. Three minus one is two, one minus zero is one. So our average rate of change of this function on the interval zero to one is two. It's just the slope between these two points. And if you like the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 better, you could just think of it just like that. So this would be our average rate of change. Let's find the instantaneous rate of change. And well, I don't need an interval for that because it happens at a single instant. So I need one value. So I wanna find the average, or I'm sorry, I wanna find the instantaneous rate of change at, at x equals one. Okay, so just at, at B basically here. And to find the instantaneous rate of change, I need to find the derivative. And if you haven't learned the shortcut methods for derivatives yet, you need to use the definition. And I'm not gonna go through it in this video, watch my last video where I took the derivative of this thing using the definition. And we found the derivative to be two x plus one of this function right here. And if you have seen the shortcuts for derivatives, then you know that this is just a power rule. So here's my derivative. If I want the instantaneous rate of change at x equals one or at one, I'll just plug one into the function, right? I'm just following this. So that'll be two times one plus one. That's gonna be two plus one is three. That's the instantaneous rate of change at one. Okay, so there's the difference between average rate of change and instantaneous rate of change. One's the slope of the secant line, the other's the slope of the tangent line. And that's pretty much all you need to know. So I hope you got something out of this video. Please like, subscribe, give me a comment and tell me what you think. Tell me what videos I haven't made yet that you wanna see and have a great day.